Here's how the story goes. On September 9, 1971, a baby boy was born in Hanover, Germany. That same baby, now half a century later, grew up to be a man who is being celebrated around the globe for his thought-provoking, transformational initiatives that keep changing the world, one interaction at a time. From publishing 10 books in six languages, his life journey is jam-packed with successful endeavors based on serious work. Founding the Beta Codex, traveling more than 40 countries to present the Beta Way, to having his second book, Leading with Flexible Targets, Beyond Budgeting in Practice, awarded by the Financial Times Germany as the Best Business Book Award in 2006. Since that same year, acting as an experienced advisor, he's been dedicated to helping organizations change profoundly. Feeling the utmost gratitude for his contribution, his colleagues Elizabeth, Peter, Diana, Victor and Silke wanted to join the birthday celebration by gathering a few important friends, acquaintances and associates across the globe to share some thoughts and congratulate him. And who is this him we keep mentioning? Well, he goes by many names and titles. Leadership philosopher, researcher, world-class speaker best-selling author, co-founder at Red42, Beta Codex Network founder, investor, and even the management exorcist. But we like to call him Niels. Niels Flagging. He's saying no big deal, but his friends, acquaintances and associates across the globe would disagree. Es gibt nur wenige Autoren im deutschsprachigen Raum, die so vielfältig publizieren, wie es denn jetzt tut, dabei gleichermaßen interessiert sind, höchste Ansprüche stellen an sich selbst, sowohl inhaltlicher und grafischer Natur, provokant sind und bereit sind, im wirklich Interesse zu zeigen und dabei nun ja manchmal nicht ganz so einfach sind im Umgang. Lieber Nils, wenn man Ansprüche an sein Leben stellt und bereit ist, dafür was zu geben, dann darf man meines Erachtens mit seiner Meinung nicht hinter dem Berg halten. Und ich meine, dass das wahrscheinlich eines deiner Prinzipien ist, nach denen du lebst. I don't remember exactly how I discovered your name and the Beta Codex community, but I remember outreaching and sending you an email and you responding that you had somehow heard about whole scale change and we should meet. And so if you remember, we met at Frankfurt Airport in one of those restaurants outside of the security area. And as I remember it, I almost missed my flight talking with you and, and comparing notes and sharing experiences and things like that. You were captivating, you were interesting. Uh, and I thought, wow, you know, it's, um, it's a pleasure to meet you. And this probably is 2011, something like that. So we've probably known each other for 10 years. Along the way, we've had great adventures together. You know, I'm attracted to people who don't think like I do. I'm attracted to people who push me beyond my comfort zone. Um, and you certainly do all of that. Uh, you encourage, you push, you constantly challenge the thinking and the status quo. It's one of the gifts that you bring to the universe and one of the things I most cherish about you. And after meeting with John, husband, a little bit, he told me about Niels. He said, Check this book, Organized for Complexity. You will like this. So before I, you know, I ordered the book from Amazon and then I started looking on YouTube and I see that Niels has a lot of YouTube videos and they're long videos, they're not short videos. So I watched that one and uh, after about three minutes down the road, he said something like, uh, you know, your organization is, and he used the F word which I will not pronounce because Niels might be able to say that in front of an audience and in a very nice and powerful way, but I'd rather not say it in front of this audience. You know, I'm not Niels, but it was amazing. And I thought, my God, I just love this fucking guy. Oh, I said that. And I, and I read his articles and what he shares on slide, slide share and all this. And each time it's just pure joy to see that somebody in a simple but not simplistic way, explain the evolution of management, explain what's wrong in the world today, not in a philosophical way, in a very practical way. 
and understands the impacts of that bad management. And obviously, Niels is very opinionated. When you talk to Niels, that's his way or the highway. But that's okay, because at the same time, he's very soft-spoken when we argue. And uh, he will not bend. He will listen. And sometimes, I, 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 a few times it happened, he just said, uh-huh, that's interesting, but I think you're wrong. <laughs> but that's okay. Not only about office, it's all about like behavior and the philosophy and the perspectives toward the human being and work and life, blah, blah, blah. So when I come back to Korea, that uh, I kind of decided to do something meaningful in my life. And then uh, at that time, I read the news flagging's uh, Korean translation book. The, we, we actually changed his original book into another title. The name is uh, On Leadership. On Leadership. Yeah. So at that time, I thought it was very interesting and I read it. And then I realized that, oh my God, this is what I always looking for. And then I just wanted to meet him. Polyglotter Weltenbürger, sondern auch ein großartiger Weltenerklärer. Du rückst die Dinge zurecht äh, mit äh, großem internationaler, mit großer internationaler Erfahrung, äh, stets engagiert, äh, pointiert und manchmal auch scharf. Äh, aber es war immer spannend mit dir und äh, auch immer gut äh, für ein größeres Aha-Erlebnis. Ja, du bist ein ähm, mitreisender äh, Speaker, ähm, aber das zeichnet dich ebenfalls aus. Du kannst auf der anderen Seite auch sehr gut ähm, zuhören. Falar sobre o News é uma grande alegria e um grande Prazer. É... News é uma pessoa super especial, é um pensador crítico dos mundos dos negócios e apaixonado por transformação organizacional. Nils é essa pessoa que é, consegue abalar as estruturas por ser tão apaixonado pelo que ele defende e também por ter esse pensamento crítico aliado ao seu conhecimento cultural, já que ele é, morou né, em vários países, fala quatro idiomas e viveu intensamente as culturas nas quais ele viveu. Ele, ele tem um posicionamento muito forte, é por isso que ele é essa pessoa que nunca vai passar desapercebido aonde ele estiver. Ele tem esse posicionamento forte e isso traz para ele uma curiosidade das pessoas amá-lo ou odiá-lo. E ele segue em frente porque ele é tão convicto que ele consegue é, vencer resistências e colocar seu ponto de vista de uma forma é, bastante convencedora e isso é muito bom. Also was mir beim Nils gefällt ist, dass er ein kreativer und ein kritischer Kopf ist. Er ist so praktisch Symbol, warum wir Menschen runde Köpfe haben, weil die Gedanken dann besser halt die Richtungen verändern können und er, er hat ja nicht immer die richtigen Antworten, aber was er im Stande ist zu machen, er wirft die richtigen Fragen auf. Und Über diese Recherche bin ich auf eine kleine Webseite gestoßen, die nannte sich betacodex.org und die war so total zerfickt, dass man, wenn man irgendetwas dort tun wurde, umgeleitet wurde zu irgendwelchen Casino oder anderen Scammern und ich mir gedacht habe, ja scheiße, ich möchte gerne dieses White Paper haben, aber wo kriege ich denn das her? Ja, habe ich bei LinkedIn angeschrieben und ähm, gefragt, okay, kann man das White Paper irgendwo her bekommen? Weil deine Webseite wäre ja ganz schön zerfickt. Das hast du bestätigt. Und äh, ja, hilfsbereit wie ich bin, habe ich halt gefragt, ob ich irgendwas helfen könnte. Und du sagst dann ja auch ja. Ich glaube, das nächste, was passiert ist, ist dann, dass wir ungefähr zwei Stunden lang telefoniert haben, wie man dann an die ganze Geschichte rangehen könnte und vor allen Dingen, wie man den Beta-Kodex in die Köpfe kriegt.
Und jedenfalls für mich war damals auch der erste Augenblick, ähm, wo wir diese grundsätzliche Idee formuliert haben, dass der Beta-Kodex das Standardmodell für moderne Organisationen sein muss und dass das eine Vision für uns wäre. Seitdem hat sich ziemlich viel getan. Ähm, ich muss ganz ehrlich sagen, ich bin extrem positiv überrascht, ähm, was für eine Renaissance oder vielleicht zweite Blüte der Beta-Kodex aktuell erfährt. Ähm, bundesweit, international, weltweit geradezu kann man sagen, ähm, schießen immer mehr Gruppen aus dem Boden, die sich damit beschäftigen wollen. Und irgendwie ist es ja schön zu sagen, Mensch, ja, die Achse Wiesbaden-Köln, das waren die Ersten. <lacht> Hi, this is Jackie from Seoul, Korea. Let me wear my glasses. When Nils came to Korea in 2012 as the author of his book on leadership, he declared that you have to trust others as much as you do yourself. And Nils is direct and straightforward, but not offensive at all, at least to me. Impressive quotation of Nils Plagging, walk the system for self-organization. And first impression of Nils Plagging, big thinking, Big smile, big mind. Well, um, I first met uh, Niels at a BBRT meeting. Um, I think it was possibly in Frankfurt. Um, we got on very well from the start uh, because both of us saw beyond budgeting the same way. It's not about no budgets, it's about transforming management. And after a while, um, Niels um, joined the BBRT uh, as the um, director for Brazil and South America. I've always admired his radicalism, his power as a presenter, and um, his creativity. And I'd add to that also his generosity. I don't know if you can see this, but he gave me this gift many years ago, and I kept it in my study And it reminds me of Niels. <laughs> Finally, in, in 2007, um, he invited me to speak at a conference in Brazil. And um, he invited me and my wife, uh, Faraday. And uh, he gave us just such a wonderful time. Uh, we went on a tour and we saw the famous Iguazu Falls. And we even experienced uh, a tropical downpour. Lieber Nils, alles Gute zu deinem 50. Geburtstag. Er ist ja doch etwas Besonderes. Auf jeden Fall ist er ein guter Anlass, um das Wetterleuchten der Begegnungen am Lebenshorizont Revue passieren zu lassen. Manche Begegnung ist ein Highlight, andere sind im Tumpel des Vergessens verschwunden. Ich hoffe, dass unsere Begegnungen anlässlich des Entstehens des Buches in jedem Unternehmen steckt ein besseres, wie Leuchttürme sind, die manches im Leben auch anderer Menschen erhellen. Ich danke dir für deine Arbeit als Herausgeber und Gestalter des Buches. Dieser aus ehrlichem Herzen kommende Dank ist mein Geschenk zu deinem 50. Geburtstag. Und noch etwas. Die zweite Halbzeit ist genauso spannend wie die erste. Alles Gute. Hey Niels, this is uh, Steve Cummings and Tom Bridgman here from New Zealand. Uh, just wishing you um, all the best for your birthday. Um, we're here down in the Southern Hemisphere, which is why this is back to front. But we just wanted to send you the special message and to say congratulations. And also to say that we're really enjoying collaborating and reading your work on Mary Parker Follett. It's, it's important work and we look forward to continuing the shared interest. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Nils. Happy birthday, Nils. I hope your new business is getting greater and greater. Mm -hmm. And one day I can invite you one more time to Korea. Happy birthday. Então, Nils, é como um grande agente de transformação desse mundo, parabéns, parabéns pelo seu aniversário, 
Parabéns pelo seu trabalho. Parabéns por você ser essa pessoa tão especial que você é. Eu desejo que você, né, sua jornada, seja sempre vitoriosa, com conquistas, muito sucesso e prosperidade. Um super beijo. 뉴스 생일 축하합니다. 한 번씩 보고 삽시다. 그리고 건강해요. Nils, happy birthday to you. And I hope you stay healthy and our path cross more often in the future. Du bist jetzt 50 Jahre und nur etwas jünger als ich und trotzdem teilen wir etwas. Zumindest gemessen in Jahren liegt die meiste Zeit unseres Lebens hinter uns. Ich habe allerdings das Gefühl, dass ich vor der schaffensreichsten Phase meines Lebens stehe. Und äh, es ist das, was ich dir für die nächsten Jahre ebenso wünsche. Und was ich mir darüber hinaus wünschen würde, ist, wenn sich dabei unsere Wege immer wieder kreuzen. Bleib gesund. Alles Gute zum Geburtstag und liebe Grüße aus Kreuzern. Happy Birthday, Nils. Thank you so much. Enjoy the moment today. Alles Gute zum Geburtstag. Hallo Nils, herzlichen Glückwunsch zu deinem 50. Geburtstag. Ich wünsche dir alles Gute, bleib vor allen Dingen gesund und mach bitte unbedingt weiter so wie bisher. Farid und ich wünschen dir einen sehr glücklichen 50. Geburtstag und weiteren success in der Veränderung der Welt des Managements. Und all diese Dinge über alt zu werden, du solltest wiser werden. You have a big problem, my friend. You have a big problem. I think you're already wise, above, above your years, beyond your years. So I don't know what you're going to do with the next 50 years, because I think that you have reached a level that a few people will reach in their whole life. So happy birthday from my, the depth of my heart. It's a pleasure uh, knowing you and enjoy your next 50 years. Ich kann natürlich auch sagen, lieber Nils, wir reminiszieren gerade über deine schönsten Pöbeleien. In diesem Sinne. Warum, warum, was ist das, war das für ein gepflegtes Wort, was ich nicht kannte? Reminiszieren? Ja, re, mi. In Erinnerung äh, zu, zu, Zurück, mi. Ja, ja. Nein. <lacht> Das sah nicht scripted at all. Das war wirklich gut. Nein, ehrlich, ich bin sehr überrascht. Super, good.